Oh, hey, it's you, Alaska Brian here, and welcome back to the land of the midnight sun. Today, I'm going to check my trail cam. About a month ago, I put my trail cam up at the end of my property here, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what it captured. Let's go! amazing honestly when I put this camera out um, a month ago none of these existed and now some of them are five six feet tall Whew. well that's probably about good enough it took a little while but I managed to cut a path here to the end of my property um, and I'm pretty excited to see what's on that game cam, so let's check it out! Well, there's a little game trail that crosses through the forest here, right at the edge of my property. And um, I thought this would be a great place to put the trail cam because I imagine that animals use this, but it's pretty unlikely that humans would because this is all private property back here. So um, let's go check out the cam and make sure it's still there and we'll see. We'll take the memory card and, and find out what's on it. Hopefully something cool. Well, here's the game cam. I attached it onto this alder tree pointing right at the trail. Um, I do see some moose poop over here, so I feel pretty confident that we captured at least some moose, and that's awesome. But the real question will be, will we see anything else? It's possible we could see some black bear, some uh, coyotes have been around here, and would I possibly get lucky enough to see a brown bear? I don't know. Let's find out. So I think what we'll do now is we'll um, take the memory card out and we'll head back to the house, load it in the computer, and see what we see. So here we go. All right, well, I've decided to look at him outside here since it's kind of a beautiful gloomy but refreshing day. So uh, let's dive right in and see what we captured. There's my dog Otis when we set the camera up. There's me with the weed trimmer as we're uh, hacking our way out to set the camera up. Hmm, random neighbor's cat. There's our neighbor's dog Holmes. As it turns out, this dog roams around the neighborhood a lot. Hmm, there's that dang cat again. Oh, a moose! Just barely visible on the far right, at night, nonetheless. There's the moose again. You can tell because it appears she has a big scar on her side. And it looks like she's got a little baby with her. Now, I've seen this moose before. We've seen it out in the front yard. So it's cool to see it uh, appear on the camera and with her baby still looking healthy. Oh, close up of the baby and mama. Same moose. Oh, mama moose is back, this time at night. Oh, she's back again. Mama with the scar. 
Ah, and there's the baby. Baby's still alive and still kicking. Hmm. That stinker cat is back. I have never seen this cat before. Who knew that it liked to spend so much time in our backyard? Whoa, random dog. Never seen that dog before. And there's Holmes. Holmes is back. Oh, apparently one of our neighbors decided to take a walk through our backyard. Well, she doesn't look like she's up to anything too bad, but there she is. And here she comes back. <gasps> oh my gosh. Brown bears! Two cubs! Where's mama? There's mama! Ooh, she is a big bear. That is interesting. Like I said, I knew it was possible we might see a brown bear, but this neighborhood is not known for having brown bear, and yet there she is. Big Mama Grizz and two cubs. Well, technically, the bear in this area are not grizzly bears. They are coastal brown bears. But uh, most everyone knows for any brown bear as grizzly bears. What's the difference? Grizzly bears live away from the ocean. And coastal brown bears, hence the name, live on the coast. And they eat a very different diet. Coastal brown bears feed on a lot of salmon, whereas grizzly bears are eating whatever they can. Big moose. In fact, this might be a different mama moose with a calf. Holmes, our buddy, once again. I wish you'd go home, man. Oh, there's a bunny. A cat. <gasps> Mama Grizz and her two cubs once again. Wow, look at that shot. That is just unbelievable. So beautiful. And yet also kind of intimidating. And there I am, cutting my way to pick up the cam. Well, dang, I have to say that exceeded expectations. I did not expect to see all those moose and especially that family of brown bear. Wow, how cool is that? But anyway, I'm going to put it back out there. And um, it'll be interesting to come back in another month and see if we capture anything else. But uh, sweet. Woo! Well, man, that was pretty awesome. I admit I had no idea that they were brown bear back here. I mean, of course I knew it was possible, but that was quite a surprise to see him on there. So now I've attached, reattached the camera to the tree, and this time I've turned on a setting to where it'll take video as well. So when we come back in another month, hopefully we capture some more cool stuff. Well, I got a bounce. So until next time, stay interesting and stay wild. Shh.